first and only attack anybody ever has at me is never about being good or not being able to beat people. It's always, you're, you're not exciting, blah, blah, blah. And it really doesn't add up with the timeline of my career and the fights that I won the UFC until after we had major con contract disputes. Those, those things people say about me now were never said before the contract disputes. I went and fought and I won. It was a 10 second knockout. I knocked him out. It was 10 seconds. I flew across the cage, threw a barrage of punches. He rolled over and started tapping as the refs uh, stepped in and stopped it. 10 seconds. I had a 10 second finish. Isn't that a boring way to fight and win? Oh, should have done it in nine. Second professional fight. So I'm one and one at that point. Two amateur tournament wins. Next fight, September. I beat him in the first minute. In less than a minute, a submission, standing guillotine choke. Hit him a couple times hard, snapped his head down, choke, finished. One minute. Yeah, totally not exciting at all, guys. People had to sit a whole minute. Same night, Eric Tix says, yo, Fitch, the crowd loves you, man. You made him pop. Fight again tonight. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Oh, yeah, I need the money. <laughs> I said, I said, all right, screw it. I left my gloves on. Right? I had no wraps underneath my gloves. I was borrowing somebody else's gloves. So I go out and I fight Eric Tix. That was a uh, KO punch. <laughs> I finished that fight in seven seconds. It's a seven second knockout. Boring. Lame. Two fights in one night. It's the second time I did it. Second time in three months, I fought more than one time in a night. Even, even counting the amateur fights. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right? In six fights, including the amateur fights, I hadn't even fought in five minutes yet.